and welcome to video tutorial 9, part 1 for the How People Learn book. If you are watching this video, it means you are reading Science Story 9 and you want to join our crew in creating timelines, mind maps and space maps. Let's start with timelines. Alicia and Vlad decided to create timelines of the important events in their lives. You can do the same, or you can also learn to create the timeline of a process. Making pancakes, for example, or sandwiches, or brushing your teeth. Here are some basic steps you need to follow. Step 1. Check out example timelines. To get an idea of what timelines typically look like, do an internet search for the word timeline. Look over several of the results so you have a good idea of how to proceed with the project. Here are some examples we like. Step 2. Draw your timeline. Sketch out the line using a pencil, then trace over it with a dark pen or marker. Label the timeline with the project title and the boundary years. Use a ruler if you're making your timeline by hand. Step 3. Choose a start and end point. You don't have to start with someone's birth or end with the person's death. A timeline is just a series of related events, not necessarily a biography. Consider your topic and narrow it to select the right starting point and ending point. Step 4. Decide how you will present your events. There are many ways to display your events. You will need to create an entry for each event and they will all need to fit on the timeline. If you're doing this by hand, Write out all the events on a separate sheet of paper before adding them to the timeline so you can figure out how much space each entry will take. Step 5. Put the most important dates on the timeline. Go along the line and mark the spots where the events will go. Draw a line that is perpendicular to your main timeline to show the years in which the events occurred. Next, write down a short description of each one. Organise the dates sequentially. The events need to be on the timeline in chronological order, not in order of importance or interest. Step 6. Give your project a title. Choose an engaging title that tells the viewer what your timeline is about. For example, don't title your project NASA. Instead, choose a title like NASA The Quest for the Moon. Step 7. Add pictures. You can add visual interest to your timeline with some pictures to go along with the events you're including. Find images online, copy them from books, or get creative and draw them yourself. Share your timeline with Olympia and the HPL project team via the social media pages. Enjoy learning and impact beyond the book.